What's up everybody, my name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my satyr and today we are talking about The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. Much like A Darker Shade of Magic, I am very late to this party. I know a lot of people who are very into this book. I think the first time I heard of it was actually on the podcast Meta Machina. They talked about it like way back when, when this first book came out and I didn't even know that it was a YA series and for some reason I just sat on it for a very long time. I started to get it in my head that it was going to be too similar to Spinning Silver, which which a lot of people love Spinning Silver. I didn't super get into it as much as other people, so I was a little bit worried about this, but I was really blown away by The Bear and the Nightingale. It feels so fairy tale. It's a Russian fairy tale, and it just feels very fairy tale, but it also feels very new. And as one of my friends pointed out to me on Twitter, you know, it even opens up with saying, like, that fairy tale is stupid because it's not romantic and it's boring. And so, like, you automatically know that, like, this is going to be something different. And we are following the life of a girl named Vasilisa, and she is a wild thing. Like, she can see all of these magical creatures. She's running around the forest. She's wild and crazy. Nobody quite knows what to think of her. And it turns out that she is the one who has the power to save everyone. There is this darkness coming. There is this bear that is awakening. And Vasya is the only one who is going to be able to stop it. I really love seeing how all of our characters react to her. She feels like she is her own entity. The way that she moves around in this book, the way that she just causes all this trouble, like the second you drop her onto a page, like everything explodes and you'd never quite know how it's going to be. It's like she had a life of her own. It was really fascinating. And I loved seeing her grow up. It is a little slow for me, especially in the beginning when she's younger, but you do kind of need some of those establishing things. You need to see how the priest is getting there, how the sphere is spreading. You need to see how she's growing up in order to see how she's going to live her life going forward. She's such a fascinating character and she really, truly carries this book series for me. I am so excited to continue on with it because I just want to know where she's going next. She is a main character that has quickly become one of my favorites and because of that I really truly recommend reading this book because Vasya is just absolutely outstanding and she just completely blew me away. Like I said, it is a little bit slow in the beginning, but once it starts to hit its stride, once we kind of start to get a little bit more into the lore, a little bit more about what's going on here, you really do start to feel like there's this big mythic tale going on around you. And honestly, it kind of feels like a, just a really long prologue. I kind of feel like it's kicking off this story that we have just barely scratched the surface on. So like I said, I'm really excited to be able to continue on with this series and I know a lot of people have already read this series. I know a lot of people already love it but I am really excited to be here. I'm really excited that I'm reading it now. This book is getting an A plus for me. If by chance you haven't read it, I really recommend picking it up. Vasya is somebody who is already just very near and dear to my heart and I am so excited to see what she's gonna do next. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every week. That is everything got for today, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!